Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video, Los Angeles Chargers franchise. We're here in week three, where we're coming off a win against the Denver Broncos. 40-17, very dominating win. We really ran to score during the end of that game, I want to say. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button as we are trying to grow the channel and get these videos out for the last season. I have to mention the last season once again. I always have to mention that. And we are trading sliders again, trying to make this game a little bit harder. For us, what we are going to do is, I don't feel like we catch the ball as much. I don't feel like we get that many contested catches. If it's a one-on-one, -on -one, then sometimes, yeah. What we're going to do is down our defensive pass reaction time to 45. Interception can stay the same because interception should be, we don't even catch that. We miss a lot of interceptions in my opinion. Down our pass coverage to 40. You can leave that like that. And we're going to up theirs to 90. Try to make it harder. Um, we got their pass blocking to... F it was on 40. You can give them 47. They, they have decent runs. They just don't run the ball enough, in my opinion. And I think we play everything as it is. As we just down our pass coverage, down our defensive reaction time, up their defensive reaction time, up their pass coverage. Um, but the Raiders are a team that defend us well, so I don't know. Then against upgrades, Matt Bryant had a good week last week. He had two sacks with uh, Joey Bosa going down. He didn't really go down. He just came out the game. We never put him back in. I think you just need like a speed rusher. Sure. Put you to A3 overall. Ups, your finesse move by two and your tackle by two. Very good. He's a suicide tracker also, so. He's a very good player. Sherrod Millbrooks. Middlebrooks. I always call you Millbrooks. It's Middlebrooks. We're going to up slot. That is your highest scheme. And plus three to man. No zone, so you're kind of a man corner now. 84 man, 79 zone. And we're going to just up Justin Herbert and move along. I don't know what you really need. A speed upgrade would be key. Um, Do we want, like, throwing a run or something? Let's go improviser. Doesn't uh, up your override at all. Doesn't really need to. Throw deep. All right, these are some decent ones. Do you want to change his things in, in any way? We could change homework for this game because we're not going to be playing at home. What do we need? Red zone dead eye? Clutch? I might want to get clutch. Gunslinger. Sometimes with gunslinger, I feel like we still don't even throw it fast enough. Inside that eye. I mean, we do have perfect passes, but that's going to be all for upgrades. Um, very short intro this week. About two minutes, three minutes, maybe four. They're 2-0. Oh. We'll see how they're 2-0. Oh. Do they have any X-Factors, a new quarterback, something I can go off of this game? They have no X-Factors, which is tough. You still have Josh Jacobs, a very dominant running back. Henry Ruggs, a very good wide receiver. Trent Brown, very good right tackle. Not bad. I just hope they have a different quarterback. I really do. We're 89 there. Our 81. We'll see. I'm really hoping they have a new quarterback. I'm tired of facing Derek Carr for the fifth straight season. I think it's a new quarterback. I saw number two. Is Derek Carr number two? I think that's Derek Carr. <laughs> oh, my God. No, it didn't look like him for a minute. It looked like a a guy with like curly hair. I don't know if Derek Carr has curly hair or he has a lot like a low cut or something. Please be a different quarterback. Anybody but Derek Carr. That's not Derek Carr. That's not Derek Carr. It's not. I'm so happy that's not Derek Carr. I, you don't know how glad I am to not see Derek Carr's face. Yeah, that's definitely not Derek Carr. When was Derek Carr where? Hope it shows it right here. I was going to show Henry Ruggs how he had a good uh, game last week. 10 receptions, 110 yards, 2 touchdowns. 
Reminds me of Dorian Dell, but a lot more catches. And a lot less yards. Receive ball first, which I don't necessarily like, but it'll give us a chance to see how our defense plays. I mean, how their defense plays. Actually gets a decent return on there. Gets a 32-yard line. Let's see Justin Herbert's stats for the season. He's playing well so far. This is the best he played this early. Nearly 1,000 yards, six touchdowns, two interceptions. Trying to keep the interception total under 10 this season. Under 10. I would like it under 5 or at 5 for the remainder of the season. But we're just going to try, try to keep it low. We're going to start today's game with a run. We had a few injury scares last week with Kareem Hunt and Joey Bosa. But none of them are out. That run didn't really get anywhere. Only gained about two. Really one if we're being honest. They were generous with that too. All right, so we're gonna see what gets open right here. I'm gonna. It's gonna be either Joe Reed. Hunter Henry is just a distraction route, but I'm looking at Joe Reed. It could be underneath. There's a few things that get open. Joe Reed, as I said, because they covered that. Uh, that route very shot as Joe Reed's over 5,000 receiving yards. It's funny, Dorian Dell got over 5,000 receiving yards last week, and he's only been in the league a year less than Joe Reed. And now Joe Reed has hit 5,000 receiving yards for his career, and you know he's been in the league a little bit longer. There we go, Tony. Give me a... Oh, my God. You didn't even give me a blog, uh, Joe. Tony just got away from him. It's like, if I would have threw that ball, like, accurately, like, to him in the chest, it wouldn't have been where it needed to be. Like, it needed to be a little off, and that was very good. But if Joe Reed would have gave me a block, we could have had a touchdown possibly right there. Just didn't. It's all right. It happens sometimes. I cannot run right now. Like, did me up in the pass coverage help us not run the ball? Yeah, I don't think they're ready for a run. The formation I came out in, the defense they came out in, not ready for a run. There's no way. Why did it drag me to the side? I'm going for it. And they want me to go for it, too. I love you, coach. Please give me blocks. Block, block, block. Kareem. There you go, Kareem. Let's go. That's what I like to see. He did the head, shoulder, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> Kareem rushing in for, what, two yards right there? He earned it. Yeah, I wouldn't say he really earned it. It was really the passion that got us downfield. But he earned it by getting in there. And that's probably his, like, sixth rushing touchdown of the season. If I'm not mistaken. So, pass coverage today hasn't been horrible. It also hasn't been the best for them. I don't know. We'll see how our pass coverage plays. If it plays better, then I know it's definitely the way I said it was last week. Like, the more we, um... The better we play on... The better we put it up is the worse they play. And the less we put it, the more we put it down, the better they play. You get what I'm saying. Yes, they do have a new quarterback in Earl Graff. 510 yards, three touchdowns a season. Not very good, but no inception is always good. And coming on the first play, I think I would like to blitz, but it doesn't look like they're going to run. Yeah, they're not running. Everything is covered. Everything is covered. Everything was covered. Jerry Taylor coming on the sack. I don't know what that play was, but it just had a whole bunch of routes going to the right side. I'm going to blitz him right here. No, we're not. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do this. Oh, my God. Why is everything clamped right now? Or is he just taking forever to throw the ball? Third and 32. This is nuts.
All right, he actually got through there. But it's going to be fourth down, probably fourth and 30, fourth and 27. Um, defense played fantastic, so I'm hoping it's not the way I explained it to be. But if it is, what can I really do about that, man? I don't, well, I could obviously change the sliders, but... That's an intel. Yeah. Can we stop him? Yep, yep, yep. That was just... It was just bad. Bad throw. And now they have beautiful field position. So it's like he kind of didn't even get that stop right there. Come here. Oh, he completes the throw. He is lucky, man. Oh my god, Nasir! No way. What a play by me. That is a 1,000 IQ play. No, that's... that's. Oh my god, that's such an underrated play. That is such an underrated play. Look at me running from the jump. From the time he snapped the ball, I ran straight to the running back. I knew it was going to him. Holy shit. Listen, our pass coverage might have been down, but their pass coverage might went up, right? IQ still there. 14 zip. Holy shit. That was really one of the smartest plays I've ever done in my life. Ah, oh, Nasir. The Sear couldn't wrap up. He couldn't even engage in a tackle. And there we go. What is going on? Why are we dominating on the line? Fifth sack this season. Like, we are murdering on the line. I'm going to run hard flats right here. Because hard flats seemed to shut him down last week. And that's an intro. <laughs> I think the sliders have reversed. I think that's what these slides are. I think they're reversed, honestly. Like, I wish I can tell you how confused I am and make it make sense, but I cannot. Good run, Kareem. I just, I'm really, I'm really expecting this game to be a little bit more difficult. And it just, it almost just is. I don't know if that's just a bad throw by the quarterback. Decision making by the AI, they don't have a slider for that. That's the thing. I can't, I literally cannot make them make better decisions. It's impossible to make the AI make better decisions. Dorian almost oh, scored on that. I don't know what to do. Am I just putting good routes on the field and that's just that? And another rushing touchdown for Kareem. And it's going to put us up 21 to 0. Uh, when I started to record today, I did not imagine that I'll be up 21 to 0 once again. Like, how many times in this franchise have we been up? Are they all just dab? That's so... Whatever. Um, <laughs> how many times in this franchise have we been up 21-0? to zero? Well, multiple scores in the first half. Well, probably... That's probably a lot of times we have done that. But I was thinking it was still the first quarter. Like, how many times have we been up that many in this, this, this franchise so far like this? No way. I'm going to say tackle him. Why couldn't Sin not, Adley not keep up with a tight end? I'm guessing that is. He's built like a tight end at least. Mm. 
They had uh, some routes they could have threw, but I kind of was covering everything. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because of the rookie quarterback. He's just not. He just doesn't have the awareness to make those key decisions yet. It could be that. Oh, that's just a good point. I didn't feel like we could have took that. And that's why I didn't do it. All right, we are here on the two-yard line. They could get points. Their first points right here. They definitely could. Probably won't, though. Water bounds. Was that Dorian? It was. So Dorian's 82. I thought uh, Joe Reed was 82 for some reason. Good. How was that a hard hit? I'll just hand the ball off to Dorian at this point. Because I feel like the game is over. Let's see, let's see. There you go. Dorian, not really airing it out. 8 for 10, 173 yards, a 1 into off a stupid pass by me. You know, shit like that happens sometimes. Let's see what gets open, if anything. They kind of fall for play action, and that's going to be another touchdown. <laughs> I mean, they fell for the play action. I don't. It's on all Madden. It's on simulation. I really don't know. I don't know. I would love for this game to be more difficult for me. I would love for it to be a challenge. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. Next week, I might try just reversing the pass coverage stats. Because it seems like we're playing better and they're playing worse. Or, I don't know, maybe we're playing the same. Not the same as them, but the same as we usually play. Because we usually do lock a lot of teams up. Actually, they usually... No, nah, I don't know. Teams usually get yards on us. You got to break that up, Emmanuel. Get a hand on the ball. Oh, good. I thought it was going to be a run. And I'm like, yeah, I'm knocking down that running back immediately. And Sir Adley already having a very impressive game. That's me. I can't get to him. It was an angle I took. It was a horrible angle. Because he was streaking and I came all the way down. And once I saw that, I just threw it to him. It was, it was a good play. It was a good play. It's going to be 7-28. to 28. They get their first points late in the second quarter. I feel like I downed my pass block too. And I up their pass block sliders. And it's just still not enough. So I really don't know what to do. Ah, I just couldn't let go of the ball. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't. They might blitz us. They actually are blitzing us. And that's going to be an easy one. Get out of bounds. Don't believe the clock will stop, but this might take us in a two-minute warning, or you might be able to get another playoff. Yeah, we're not going to be in the playoff. We're going to go play action on the play that got us a touchdown last time. And he's kind of... Whoa, inaccurate. Holy shit. Why? Why was that so inaccurate? Come on, beat him. That man dusted him. 
fifth receiving touchdown of the year. He dusted him. Like, completely. I didn't even have to throw a lob. I could have just bulleted it. He had a good one, two, four, five, ten steps on him. That was crazy. And now Dorian Dell's in the zone. I mean, I don't... There's certain things... I, I'm Overall, the pass coverage looks poor. Like, their pass coverage looks very bad today. Certain times it looks alright. Like, went through the intel. That looked like very good pass coverage. I just threw it there because I thought one of our series could make a play on it. Didn't. Ball wasn't throwing the correct place. Whatever. But there are certain times like that where Dorian Dell's just going to beat some people. He's going to be... If you don't have a good corner on him, which I doubt they do have a good corner on him, he's going to beat him. And they didn't have no safety help on that play, so... It's going to be very easy to beat defenders like that. Every time. He caught that. That is incredible how he caught that. And But did you see how I covered like three fucking routes on that? Nothing is open. And they're going to call timeout. Get a field goal. Nothing is open. Uh, our man covered is lock up today. Which I feel like our, we, we are a man team. So they could get 10. I would say go up by 10, but no. They could score and get the 10th point of the day. It's going to be 35 to 10. So they're scoring, which is good. They might just turn around in the second half. We've seen teams do that to us before, but wait. So we received the ball first, and now we're getting the kickoff. Oh, no, no, we're not. We're not because we had a little bit of time. I'm like, how are we getting the kickoff, too? That's crazy, but no, no, no. They get the ball at half, which is good. That was a good clock management for them. They had no time where they could have took a sack and still got points. So, you know, what we really wanted to do was keep the ball alive there, but we just couldn't. They're having a rough time in the second half. I don't know what they're going to do to change it. Yeah, this quarterback is getting sacked, bumped, pushed, hurt. I'm guessing he's a rookie. Yeah, he's just getting <laughs> really hurt. Really not what you want to see out of your rookie or quarterback. Again, just up the middle. Oh my gosh. Harriet tried to make a play on the ball, but he just couldn't. I want to say locate it, but it really looked like he just couldn't track it down in a sense. And another sack. Bro, Chen Rosa had four, he has four sacks in the game. Oh my God, this is crazy. Why are they doing this to him? I, I'm the offensive line just doesn't seem to be. I didn't touch their pass blocking sliders. I don't think I might have actually. I might have upped it. And he somehow gets out of way. Could have been ten most was possibly fifth sack of the day, but somehow the quarterback managed to throw that one away. Four reception, 138 yards, one touchdown on the day. Dorian Dale, very dominant. Um, I need to run. I need to run. All right, good. That is flag because I'm over here trying to switch the play. Not switch the play. Put some routes on the field, and it's just it was not working.
Damn, like, what the f It's like I was in quicksand. Is it? It looks like it. Let's see. Oh my god, Dorian. That's fucking ridiculous. Catching it, putting it where the defender can't get it, which is on your shoulder. Funny enough. I'm gonna put it 48. Not 48, 42 to 10. And the Las Vegas Raiders are. In disbelief, their coach can't believe it. Uh, receivers, defenders, fans are in shock. But yeah, I shouldn't be because this is the. Chargers, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda in shock that this team is doing this well in this game right now, too. I'm not even about to, yeah, we expected this. Nah, I didn't. Oh, you so lucky. I couldn't get you in the backfield. How did you turn that corner so quick? That's a good tag for Los Joey. And he's in the zone. Has Joey Bosa got a sack today? I don't remember seeing him in on any sacks. At least I don't remember it informing me he has any sacks. They're gonna double him, maybe triple him. There we go, D Derwin. I almost called you. D D <laughs> I almost said all three. I almost said Derwin, Dorian, and Denario. I'm telling you, there's too many, too many great Ds on this team. Unless I know how it sounds, it is what it is. It's just too many great Ds on this team. Who can stop the D? What team can stop it? You go. Currently gonna get well over a hundred yards this game. I hope he gets a dev up next game, like a scenario thing. And I feel like we just could keep running the ball. We're having success with it. Getting about five or more yards every time. You might sometimes get two or three, but for the most part, they're not stopping this run today. See, for the most part, I'm just like, I'm getting right in. Obviously, he might be getting a little tired, but that's at most risk we are. And you could, they could just bring uh, Nick Black in. Obviously, Nick Black is going to do the same thing he's doing, but Nick Black get a few yards. And that's an easy touchdown. Very easy. <laughs> Just swerving in the lane and getting the touchdown. Third receiving touchdown of the day. It's going to put it 48 to 10. And now all the claims are made of this being the best team in the world. Uh, for the past two seasons. Well, I really can't say that. But they have been the best team in the world for the past two seasons. In this form? Oh, yeah. What are you going to throw it? Can you believe that that is a reception? He just threw it up. It wasn't even like, oh, yeah, I'm going to throw it to my fucking tight end. No, he just threw it up and said, I hope my tight end catches this because he's the only one in the area. And there's no real reason for me to call hard flats here because you're not really going to the flat at all. I'm blocked and it doesn't matter. Jerry Tillery his third sack of the game. Oh my god, this is... The sacks are really ridiculous. Oh my god, you are so lucky that wasn't an accurate throw. What are you going to do? They're actually going for it, which I, I, I love them for going for it right here.
Ah, come on. I want the interception with Derwin, but it's better to not get the interception in that situation. Is he gonna get this? And there's the flag. Like I wish on the flag they would have given me the yards too. Obviously they're giving me the yards in terms of spot of ball, but they're not giving me the yards that I really want. I just ran it because once again I'm forgetting true clock is on, I don't have time to set up a real play. So we're just gonna take our three. It's gonna be a fairly easy three. It's gonna put us up fifty-two to ten. Defense is also dominant. Offense is, I wouldn't really say dominant. Obviously, we had some big plays on offense, but defense is really fucking dominant right now. Try to hit stick them. Or maybe hard flats is not the call because they're not really going to the flat at all today. This is one of them bitch quarterbacks that just love to hit the flats at all every situation. I don't even know if he hit the flat once today. As he tried and he threw it into, which is funny. You have to be kidding me. If that's me, that's an into. I think that's me. Honestly. I should be over that middle. Not that deep, but I should be there. All right, got to play better, fellas. Big hit, no fumble. And this is the best drive they had all day. Literally the best drive they had all day. Back of the end zone. Uh, a safety should be in that area. Obviously, I was coming to that area, but a safety should already be there. Doesn't really matter. I was going to put it 52 to 17. There you go, Kareem. Yeah, I got doubled at the last fucking second. That's so annoying. At the last possible second they could double, that's when it happened. If anything. Alright. Okay, they just got a pick six on that, which is... Not supposed to happen. Because I want to be fucking a genius. Alright, that's the end of the game. <laughs> that's officially the end of the game. Nothing else is going to happen. I promise. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I said nothing else was going to happen. And the same guy called the intro. Alright, um... <laughs> Why am I being so fucking stupid? A Chenin Owosu with his fifth sack. No way they're counting as a touchdown. He did not get both feet down. Let's see. Oh, he might have. I still want to challenge it, though. Damn. All right, cool. Whatever. Um... <laughs> We had like 52 to 10 or 17, and then somehow it's 52 to 
Five. I'm not fifty-two to five. Fifty-two to thirty-one. Five seconds left in the game. That's what I meant to. Uh, I throw another end for some reason. No reason why I'm throwing the ball at all, other than I'm stupid, and for some reason I want more interceptions on my season. No real reason. So don't look at interceptions. Interceptions aren't important. Earl Graf, who was very, he held on the ball a lot. Like he held on to it a lot. Uh, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Not a very good game. He had 49 yards though. So most of was at the end of the game. Don't pay attention to that. Justin Herbert had 352 yards. Three touchdowns. Don't look at interceptions. Just four interceptions. That doesn't really matter. Doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah, he he was playing good. At one point, he was like 13 for 16, and never made another completion after that. Funny. What threw more, four more interceptions after that? Great. Well, three more technically. Cream Hunt had a very impressive game. 144 yards and 26 attempts, 5.5 on the ground, and three touchdowns on a day. Now receiving. Darren Waller had himself a career-changing game. Eight reception for 254 yards, one touchdown. Dorian Dale had six catches, 215 yards, two touchdowns. Tony Burton had eight catches, 91 yards, and one touchdown. Zay Jones, five catches, 71 yards, one touchdown. Henry Ruggs, three catches, 41 yards. No touchdown. Joe Reed, one catch, 30 yards, no touchdown. Henry, one catch, 16 yards, no touchdown. And that is about it. But the important thing on this team today for us was defense. Kevin Murray Jr. had two tackles for loss. Joey Bush had one. Mason had one. And Pat Cox had one on the side of, on the other side of the ball. But sacks were very important. Uh, Chen Wilson had five sacks. Five, I say. And also he had five tackles. So, maybe those will tackles, tackles. Who knows? Uh, Jerry Tilly had three sacks. Kevin Murray had one. Chappie had one, and Tack McKinley had one on us. But until it was a big part of this game, as you see, we threw two instead of the same person in Trayvon Mullen. Mullen, let's say Mullen. Derwin James had one, Chadley had one, Derek Diggs had one, uh, Corey Littleton had one, and Harvey Weaver had one for them. And we could handle that. We faced the Broncos, we're moving on 3 and 0. We're the only undefeated team in our division. No scenario. How fucking... I don't get how that's no scenario. Division looking a little rough. 3-0, 2-1, 1-2, and 0-3. We're facing the 3 Broncos. Who we ended up beating a couple weeks ago. So, Chen Wosu did get player of the week. Happy for him. Five tackles, five sacks. Could have been anybody on defense, but I'm happy it was a Chen Wosu. That was a very dominating game. So now we're going to check our um, players to see if any of our players are going to be revealed. Probably going to be revealed next week, honestly. Just what I'm thinking. So Jim, Joe Mason, not yet. He needs... Well, I feel like he didn't play that much this week. I feel like he got like maybe 40 snaps or something like that. I feel like he didn't get that many snaps this week. Which I feel like I played with him a lot, though. Uh, Marcus Harriet. Same with him. He played a little bit more, but uh, it's going to be sometime in the next two weeks. I guess we didn't play defense that much this week, and that's probably why. Uh, especially in that third quarter, we played a lot of offense, ran the ball a lot, wasting the clock a lot. So, yeah, that could be it. But, yeah, that's going to do it for us. Next week, we will be facing the Denver Broncos. Next video you will see from me will either be Golden State Warriors franchise or... Portland Snowflake, what is this series called? Portland something. Snowfall? Not Snowfall. Snowhawks. Portland Snowhawks. Either be Golden State Warriors franchise or Portland Snowhawks franchise. Either one of those. Um, yeah, if you, didn't, if, you, if you did enjoy this series, because it's coming to the end of the season, if I did not say that already enough in uh, these weeks, yeah, the series is coming to end. If you didn't enjoy it, be sure that you like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Best way to support. See you next video. Peace. But wait, my nigga, let's just stop the pretending. Like I'm not the realest. And soon be the richest. I'm not for the bitch. And got cock for these bitches. And rap with the pop in his pots in the kitchen.
I'm getting a little bit breathtaking. I'm a fresh maker like a mick gum. I spit my son a loyal bitch gums. If you want more, then I just.